Ben Affleck and J-Lo got married again this weekend. They had their wedding in Georgia. Things looked beautiful. Um, Pretty scary leading up to it. I think Ben Affleck's mom got hurt right before the wedding. They went to the hospital. they, They made that headline as scary as possible of like rushed to hospital before a wedding. I think she fell from a dock and and cut her leg but i do think that she was is okay the we don't we haven't seen too much we've seen pictures of j-lo's dresses multiple dresses ralph lauren she looked stunning of course there's some aerial secret photos taken of like her and ben taking pictures and then there's a lot of and then there was pictures of Ben coming and going. It seemed like Ben had left for something right after the wedding. You see him getting on a plane with Matt Damon. But I, I do have to say that it's a very happy occasion. I'm very happy for them. I And it's nice because I do believe that the rumor was that they were supposed to get married here the first time that they were supposed to get married at, at uh, Ben Affleck's estate in yes. Georgia. You know you made it when you have an estate. Yeah. Like, who knew he had an estate in Georgia? I, I don't know. He just probably has estates everywhere. And I just feel like Ben Affleck, so much more recently, is everyone just wants to catch him looking sad or tired or angry more than most. They really do they really, Ben Affleck they do dirty, dirty on all headlines. Like, Everybody could be captured looking exhausted in a car at some point. Yeah, Did you they, see that video of him? There's the one picture of him in the I don't car even and he's in the back it. seat. Cause and I'm it's like, just he's making a face. And the headlines have been so mean. It's like the guy just got married again. <laughs> Give him a second. He's probably tired. Like, does he need to be photographed like this? Like, and, of course he's exhausted. It's, just, it's a long weekend. Feidelberg tweeted it. He was like, I love how this is just everyone when you're like tired of talking to people. He went up to someone. It was him and J-Lo and... He like was like, oh hi, nice to meet you. And the second she walked away, his face just like went blank, and he's just like, yeah. I so just sad. feel like he with these pictures sometimes they really do him dirty. They want to get the most unflattering photo of him to make him seem disheveled. Yeah. I just never even click them anymore because I'm like, crazy. who cares? Of anybody could be captured looking exhausted when they're tired. Yeah, like what? It just makes no sense to me why it's always Ben Affleck. Oh, look at Ben Affleck stumbling with his coffee in his hands. It's like, it's like they always this catch poor him. guy. No, it's just time and time again. He can't catch a break with these paparazzi photos. The drama for the weekend, I guess that you would say, is that Casey Affleck, his brother, was not there. I mean, Casey's had a ton of issues on, of his own in, in years past. And it feels like they... There's a lot of speculation of, oh, he wasn't there. He posted, Casey posted an Instagram welcoming Jen to the family. And there's a lot of comments that I think, believe he had turned the comments off. But his girlfriend had commented like something about taking his kid to soccer practice. And if he wasn't there, who would have helped the kid with the broken arm? Um, And the excuse was family obligations is what kept him at home. If the family obligation was taking someone to soccer practice and there was also like, oh, we want to spend time with his family before I think one of his kids goes to college, something like that. Kids go to college. He just didn't get invited. Like, that's just, I don't know why we have to make up all these things or, oh, he's not there due to obligations. If he was invited to that wedding, he would have been at that wedding, in my opinion. I just don't feel like he was invited. I just feel like Ben and Casey aren't that close anymore and he probably didn't invite him. I think soccer pre- practice is a pretty lame excuse to not go to somebody's wedding. Like but that's why it's like think just of admit, something a little better. Just admit that you weren't invited. Or you don't even have to or say, don't anything, even say anything. Who cares? Well, unfortunately, he was he was getting bombarded. I think like by paparazzi were following him, being like, "Why are you at the wedding?" I don't think they have a good relationship. But I mean, no, I think people so. know that. What? It's your brother. No, but right, I don't. But they don't I think they've been. I don't. I don't think. I think they've been strained for the Isn't last. Isn't Casey few Affleck years. an asshole? Yeah. yeah, like me too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, like yeah. I think he's a bad guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. what? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. So you can't really blame him for maybe not. And then people were like, "Why him. isn't Leah Remini at the wedding?" That was so funny. <laughs> it was actually came up. I wish I took a screenshot of it. it. Came up on my timeline last night. It was two separate tweets from two separate outlets i think one was like page six and one was us or something i don't know what something else 
And literally one was Leah Remini not attending J-Lo wedding due to spending time with child going to college. And then the one above it was Casey Affleck. Casey Affleck not at Ben Affleck's wedding due to spending time with kid going to college. It's like, did they just, they were like, oh, Leah, Leah said she's got a kid going to college. Let's say that too. Yeah. Let's say that too. So I, I did see uh, Dumar posted a couple things where it's uh, people have been speculating about J-Lo and Leah's friendship for a while because they have always been besties. And um, of course, I think the easy rumor to go with is now that she's back with Ben, some their, the friendship has been a little strained or just, you know, not a priority. But... I do still feel like that was kind of interesting that she I'm more I'm more intrigued by her not being there than Casey Affleck not being there. Yeah, I don't care about either of them not being there <laughs> at all. I really don't. Oh, well, J-Lo and Leah Remini have had have, I feel like they've had a good female friendship for a very long time. See, I don't think I feel like I didn't know that. And maybe oh. that's why I'm not so Then it wouldn't affect you. You didn't yeah. know they were friends. I didn't know that they had this great friendship and I think that's why I'm like, well who cares that Leah Remini wasn't yeah, there? Yeah. But if they do have this great friendship no, I think they've been friends for like then 30 years. <laughs> she must have some good reason besides soccer practice. By her, besides her kid going I think her Maybe her kid was going to college this week. That's what it they is said. the the time that people are being sent off to college. Yeah, that's the answer that we're going with. She did not attend Benefer's Georgia wedding because she was helping her 18-year-old daughter, Sophia, get ready to head off to college. I think that's a perfectly fine reason yeah. to not go. To, I believe be that one honest. more than... I believe, oh, that, I believe that more from Leah than I do Casey Affleck. Oh, 100%. I mean, I think it's perfectly fine to be like, hey, I really wish I could be there, but my 18-year-old daughter is going off to college and I need to pack her up. Yeah. Then you got to get things ready to go to college. It's not just like drop them off. She needs supplies, mm-hmm. bedding. Where is she going? You know, <laughs> this is what shower the, supplies. <laughs> this article is talking about Leah, and then at the end it says the uh, Ben Affleck's brother Casey skipped out on their nuptials because he had to take his fourteen-year-old son Atticus to soccer practice. <laughs> Lame excuse. A- I don't Atticus. Be- terrible name. Atticus Finch. Isn't yeah. that from To Kill a Mockingbird? It is. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Good job. Thanks. Who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird? Oh, frick. Uh, I'm actually blanking as well. Um, uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald? No. Who, what did no. he write? He wrote... Um, Gatsby? He wrote The Great Gatsby. Yeah. Okay. Got one. Yeah, sure. Um, Harper Lee wrote. Harper Lee. Oh, um, I wouldn't have gotten that one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Totally didn't know that. Um... Yeah, there's just so I guess maybe Casey Affleck does Casey Affleck not have a kid going to college and they're just really <laughs> oh no Casey Affleck seemingly celebrates his 18 year old son's college departure so they must be thinking that way too the actor seemingly revealed Monday that his eldest child is moving out hmm so you know I guess people are thinking of that as well that that could be another another wrinkle in this it was it was funny because it there could have been multiple there could have been multiple reasons but his girlfriend commenting that being like who would have <laughs> who would have taken who would have been at soccer practice if you weren't here you're a good man love you it was like okay that probably didn't need to comment that because that's just created an absolute shit storm of press being like just feels fake it was like oh he didn't go because of soccer practice but there may have been a, a bunch of other things at that at that point who knows maybe he what maybe they were both invited and they really did have these uh family obligations or maybe casey affleck did not did not get an invite to this one his kid didn't have soccer practice <laughs> fake, just fake so fake soccer practice the wedding look i'm excited to see more content i know you can head to uh on the jlo.com <laughs> for the exclusive wedding pics or you wait for like um uh, chris appleton her hairstylist hair Yes, posted a bunch of her different looks of her different dresses. Mm. All equally beautiful, as always. 